So it's just trying to find, like you say, find ways to score off more balls. Yeah, yeah. So you don't have to take a big risk. Yeah. yeah, so you don't have to take a big risk. Because that's what I think a lot of players do is they, like you just said, you get bogged down. And I wrote about this in my email on Monday mm. about then you sort of get forced into taking a high risk. Yeah. Wednesday morning in Liverpool on on the subway. I've just got a bus with Mark um, into Liverpool Lime Street. I'm now about to get on the subway and head to um, New Birkenhead Park Cricket Club to do some more coaching. Not very busy, a little bit different to London this. Just a little bit wet here in the UK at the moment. I just read on the Metro newspaper that today and tomorrow is going to be more than the average rainfall of for the whole month of June. Look at these puddles. Good luck getting into your car. Hey vlog, just finished my session for this morning, just the one. Um, thanks to Birkenhead Park for having me here um, last night and this morning. Just finished with 
Young Jordan, how'd you go, mate? Yeah, good. Um, just worked on keeping my head up right and uh, the mental side of the game, so it was really good. Yeah, you've had a lot of starts so far this year. A lot. He's only played three innings, but a few starts, so just got to try and get him to focus on, on moving through that phase by getting his mental routines right. So, fingers crossed, we start seeing some big scores from Jordan. <laughs> Cheers, Scott. Good luck. <laughs> anyone do before Google Maps on their phone. I have no idea how people survive. I've got Google Maps, it tells me where to go. I still get lost, you just not get lost, you just have to walk one direction, work out if you're going the right way and then you know where you're going. Thank God for Google Maps, thank God for technology and iPhones. Just had a quick bite to eat, a um, little chicken, grilled chicken burger from Leon. Now walking from the station to the forward drive cricket academy. It's very overcast, but not raining, thank God. It's nice to not be getting drenched as I walk. Hey vlog, here I am with Farouk, who is the owner, founder of this awesome academy. Now he's gonna give us a little tour around this great venue. Right, so what you see here is a 20 year old dream. Always wanted to have my own uh, academy and uh, it took a long while. Uh, many things sort of either uh, the ceiling wasn't high enough or there were pillars in between. There's so many uh, hurdles we had to uh, uh, sort of uh, jump over and things like that. So it took a long while, but finally it happened. So this is our fourth year. Um, so this was a disused warehouse. So it, it took me eight months of working day and night. Uh, blood, sweat and tears, I think, as, as, as I say, call it. Uh, so, but, you know, at, at last it happened. So very, very fond of it. We've got uh, the county, Warwickshire, they, they're a local county. Edgebuster is about a mile from here. Uh, all the, not all of it, majority of the youth structure, up to under 14s, they come and use our facility as well. So it's, um, it's, it's uh, highly sort of uh, recognized right in, in the vicinity that, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a decent place. Absolutely, so that, mu that must make you proud that they come the and use it. If the county use it, it must be something, you know, Absolutely. we could be doing. So let me show you around. So um, we've got five indoor lanes, and we also have when we take photo the nets away, we do indoor leagues running here and other things. We've got bowling machines. So this is my mission statement. So this is what actually cricket means to me. All right, I'll just read it out. Uh, cricket coaches anthem. If cricket was a religion, I would be its preacher. Since it's not, I have become its teacher to nurture, to develop and enhance cricketing minds, my dream would be to produce stars that shine. From total obscurity to playing at Lords, to produce players like that is my greatest goal. I hope the fire and passion burns deeper and deeper to enhance and develop the sport's future. Farouk Kazi, well done, mate. That's Brilliant. Brilliant. Absolutely love it. Thank you. Love it. Yeah. Um, we have got a changing room here as well, which I can show you So we've got changing rooms here, we've got two toilets here, Brilliant. we've got two toilets in the main viewing uh, area. Um, uh, let me show you around here. This is our sort of lounge area. We, we, when work are here, this is the room is used by the parents. Yep. Um, so we've got uh, screens in, 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 in four lanes. So parents can view uh, while the kids are playing, whatever, they can sit here in the comfort. Uh, we have, normally have teas and coffees being served as well. Brilliant. 
so yeah, so it took a long while, but it finally happened. Wow, you've very, done it so well. Very, very, very you've done it very so cool well. Everything. Um, if you want to go to here we are, we're going to enter the net area now. There's a nice bowling machine. This is absolutely awesome. Great to see someone's dream come alive. And look at this, excellent. Good size run ups. Nice white background padding. Look at this, absolutely awesome. Well done, Farouk. This is amazing. Unfortunately, the run-up isn't uh, the length isn't uh, great. It's enough though. For, for the it's enough. Kids and stuff like that, and yep. one-to-one coaching and stuff like that is yep. ideal. It is. It's enough. Um, um, yeah. So it's uh, it's, a, it's a decent facility. Um, Mate, it's better than decent. It's excellent. <laughs> So guys, I'll just wrap up here now. If you are in the Birmingham area and you want some cricket coaching, this is the number one spot to come to, Forward Drive Cricket Academy, and Farouk is the man. I'll be putting some contact details on this vlog so that you can get in touch with him if you're ever in Birmingham and want a session. Thanks for having us, Farouk. Thank you. I just try to get the ball down, and then you like try harder to force it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, um, so it's just trying to find, like you say, find ways to score off more balls. Yeah, yeah. So you don't have to take a big risk. Yeah, so you don't have to take a big risk. Because that's what I think a lot of players do is they, like you just said, you get bogged down. And I wrote about this in my email on Monday about then you sort of get forced into taking a high risk yeah. rather than if you can sort of score off more balls, you can pick when you take the risk. Yeah. And you can say, right, this bowler I like, and I know that with this field, if he bowls there, I can go. Mm. Whereas when you're bogged down, bogged down, pressure starts to build, everything gets on top of you, then you're sort of forced into it. Shot. Good. Hey vlog, so I'm back in London, there's Euston Station. And here is one of the great places in the UK, Nando's. Just smashed the half chicken for dinner. It's absolutely starving. I got the train back early. Um, now I'm back, just had a late dinner. When I say early, I was going to come back tomorrow, but I decided to come back today. Late dinner, now I am heading on the tube and bus and back to Crouchant. Well, legends, after quite a long day that included a fair bit of travel, Liverpool to Birmingham, then Birmingham back to London this evening, I am back in Crouch End where I'm staying. I, I get put up um, in London when I come here by a family from the Crouch End Cricket Club, which is very kind of them. Um, because I'm playing cricket for Crouch End. Um, and it's a really nice place. I really enjoy coming back here. I've got some videos transferring at the moment. So I've got the SD card um, here going onto the hard drive. So then in the morning, I can clear the SD card. I've got the camera charging down here. So um, obviously creating and capturing loads and loads of content. I... Uh, have to stay on top of the charging side of things and also the data side of things, data management. So I'm getting in this these ha this habit um, of transferring everything off the camera at the end of the day, at night time, excuse me, and then putting everything, uh, swiping the card, wiping the card first thing in the morning, having the camera charge overnight so everything's ready to go in the morning for the next day. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Please let me know what you enjoyed, the little travel side of it, um, the coaching, etc., etc. So I hope you've, please like, comment, share, and I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this. You're an absolute legend. Leave a comment below. Tell me where you're coming from. Tell me a bit about yourself. I'm gonna be reading the comments and trying to interact a bit more on here. Um, that I have been lately. So thanks, legends, and I will speak to you soon. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I really appreciate you taking your time out of your busy life to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you got some value, please subscribe below. Hit subscribe to our channel. We, we try and publish some really interesting and valuable content for you guys, so subscribe if you haven't done so already. Check out our next two videos here below. Make sure you subscribe and also turn on post notifications, and join the CM community by purchasing some merchandise Link is in the description below. Thanks, legends. Now go out and get it done.